che abbiamo imparato tanto ad amare c'è Israele Israele dove abbiamo scoperto su, ci sono dei makers forse tra i più avanti sì, soprattutto nel, nel, nella voglia di sognare ma di credere poi che questi sogni siano realizzabili intanto guardiamo un video sì. e poi chiacchiereremo con qualcuno proprio che è là Welcome to Ashalim Plot B, the solar power plant in the Negev. We would like to take you on a tour today. And let me introduce Mr. Itai, who will explain the whole plant process to you. So this is a solar, thermosolar power plant. You have the sun here, and the flux from the sun, the radiation, comes through the solar field here, all the 50,000 mirror around. It is reflected back to the receiver, solar receiver. It absorbs the heat, so you have water from the pump, from the bottom, goes up to the tower 250 meter height. Here it goes into the panels, it absorbs the heat from the sun, and then the steam goes down to the turbine. The turbine is located here. The turbine is connected to a generator, so this is a steam-driven turbine. Then the steam goes to a condenser. You can see the condenser over here. And then it goes again to the pump. So this is a closed loop of water, steam, condenser, turbine, receiver, pump. And this is how we produce here electricity by uh, the solar. We have in the solar field in Ashalim 50,000 telostat. And each helostat uh, track after the sun and send the beam of the sun to the uh, receiver the upstairs. You can, you can see the beam of the, of the sun that hit on the tower. Each helostat track after the sun with uh, two, two motors. We have azimuth motor and elevation drive that uh, adjust the angle of the, of the helostat and uh, calculate this with the sun position. There is uh, no wiring on the ground. To the Elosta there is a brain that communicates to the access point. We have a 51 access point in the solar field to control with all the 50,000 Elosta in the solar field and sell the data to the control room. With this camera, we can, we can measure the flux and the temperature from the receiver. In addition, we have eight cameras in the top of the SRG that point to the solar field. And with this camera, we can uh, capture uh, image from the solar field and help pups with the control of the solar field. Uh, this is the main, weather, the main weather station in Ashalim. We can see a uh, 3D sensor that calculate and measure the direct uh, radiation from the sun, rain sensor, humidity and temperature sensor, and we can see a cloud camera. All the sensors uh, give to the operator uh, input about the weather outside and how to operate the plan is the best scan. I hope you've enjoyed your visit to the BrightSource and GE project, Megalim's Ashalim Solar Plant. This project is very innovative and includes many developments by BrightSource of the solar field. This tower is the tallest tower in Israel, 250 meters high. We're very proud of that. Um, BrightSource has also worked on projects in the United States and we're building one in Dubai, so come see us there. Dovremmo avere, lo dicevamo prima, collegato uh, Gil Kreuzer. Gil? Hello. Ciao Gil, vediamo se lo riusciamo a sentire, perché lui mi sa che sente Turn noi. On. Okay. I think you can hear us, but we can't hear you at the moment. Yes. Oh. Yes, hi. Buongiorno. Okay. 
Ciao, oh, buongiorno. Ciao. Ciao. Buongiorno. Ciao, ciao. It's the only Ital- Italian that you're going to hear from me. <laughs> buongiorno and ciao, but it's enough, è già abbastanza. It's everything. Eh, infatti. Fa- <laughs> um, so, Gil, how uh, this idea of creating this tower was born? Come è nata questa idea di fare questa torre nel mezzo del deserto? Brachos is a company with... Uh, Fouts back to the uh, 80s from a company named Luz that started solar energy basically in the world. And back in uh, 2006, uh, we have uh, started BrightSource with understanding that uh, the best way to produce uh, electricity from sun is going to be the tower. And uh, this is the tower that you are seeing. Quindi la... Dopo tanti studi, eh, la la compagnia ha pensato che l'idea migliore per produrre eh, energia in quel modo fosse proprio di creare una torre, una vera e propria torre che più in alto va, probabilmente più si avvicina, quindi più ne ne crea. Eh, Quanta quanta energia può eh, produrre e eh, come potrebbe svilupparsi nel futuro questo progetto? How how much energy can it provide the tower and how will be the future of this project? Uh, the potential is huge. The tower that you've just seen produces uh, 121 megawatts uh, electricity. This is the capacity. Uh, it is more than 100,000 uh, home households. Uh, and the potential is uh, uh, endless. Uh, many towers, many solar fields. And now we are involved in a project uh, that is being built in Dubai as part of a huge solar park that uh, is uh, more than two gigawatts of electricity. Uh, some towers, some other technologies, the potential is endless. Allora, ah. Per capirci, la potenzialità è infinita. Solo la torre che abbiamo visto eh, può eh, dare energie, se ho capito bene, a eh, più di 100.000 case, adesso una, una, una abitazioni, insomma, una cosa di questo genere. Ma si sta pensando anche a un progetto a Dubai che dovrebbe essere potrebbe avere potenzialità infinite. Uh, Jill, um, are there any similar projects in the world? Ci sono altri progetti così simili a questo nel mondo? There are a few, not very much, but there are a few. Uh, we have some unique advantages to our technology that uh, you will not see in any other project, but there are a few additional uh, solar towers in United States, in South Africa. Uh, and in the Middle East, uh, and a few more are now, and in China, I'm sorry, and a few more are now being developed uh, across the globe. Uh, but we do believe that uh, we have some uh, unique advantages that you will not see in other projects, uh, solo in our technology. Ok, giustamente, sì, eh, sì. sono pochi e comunque peggio di noi. Eh sì, esatto. <ride> Ce n'è, c'è qualcosa negli Stati Uniti, c'è qualcosa in Sudafrica, eh, qualcos'altro sta nascendo, però insomma loro sicuramente sono all'avanguardia. Il progetto è talmente bello e anche talmente illuminato, intelligente, di pensare di andare su, su ah, verso, verso l'alto, che eh, producendo energia pulita dobbiamo solo sperare che questi progetti eh, continuino a nascere, crescano sempre di più e possano distruggere distribuire ancora più energia e più forza. Gil, thank you very much. Thank you.